this heat wave in September is just a joke. It's a joke. It's too hot. Welcome back, or if you are new, welcome. For today's video, I've seen some people do this on Pinterest, like you know when you get uh, like short videos, and I really wanted to just try it myself because I thought it looked quite fun. AI generated beauty, you know, like these women, like I thought they were real women, turns out they're not. Obviously, I'm not going to come out of it looking like those. I mean, putting them up near my face was not a good idea. But we're going to just try and make ourselves look as flawless and perfect as... Uh, ow! I really punched myself. Why did I get so excited that I punched myself? How that really hurt. My ring left a dent in my finger. I don't know if you could see it, but... Nikki, calm down. Anyways. Oh, I've got myself really warm again. <laughs> If you haven't already, hit subscribe down below or my little face in the corner. You know what to do. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, to start us off, we are gonna put some clips in because we need to allow all the space for the work to be done. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna use a lot of primer because I feel like the base needs to base the way I want it to base. You know, that came out so low. Base. Gonna use this Paulus Patty primer from Elf. Oh, got a notification. Anyways, um, we're really running low, but Hmm, just gonna scrape some out and pretend it's not happening. Really rub it in, get rid of those pores. I love that it's so warm and I'm layering things on my face. But you know, we do it to look good. Pain is beauty. Nope, <laughs> beauty is pain. Next up, we're gonna use the Smashbox, a photo finish primer, because we want to look photo finished. It's been sculpted by the AI gods. <laughs> Don't know if any of these primers actually work well together, but we'll soon find out. And now we're gonna use the PS Sunset Bean Coconut Primer Water. <laughs> I put too much on it now, it's in my mouth. <laughs> That's not nice. Any excuse to use my fan? Two seconds. Okay, I'm actually gonna start with my eyes because we need the eyes to go, you know what I'm saying. So we're gonna start with the eyes so I can do a bit of clean up to make it all the way back. Actually, we're gonna start with brows. It's part of the eye area though, so. No need to shout. I'm going to take my brow pencil. This is the Brow Sketch Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I'm going to brush up the brows to begin with. Then we're going to take the brow pencil part. Her brows seem to be... I'm following this one, by the way. Her brows seem... I keep getting random notifications. Her brows seem to be quite filled, as if she's actually done her makeup. It's going to make the eyebrows look quite filled in. Me and my sister just went out and bought ourselves a salad from a salad bar. It's It slaps, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It, it's so good. That's waiting for me in the fridge for lunch. Cannot wait. It's the type of salad bar that's got like the shredded carrots, not just like, you know, slices of carrots, like carrot sticks. I really love a grated carrot and thinly sliced cucumber. Oh, and it's got like the bacon bits. Stop it. Stop it. Now we're going to use the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Glued Eyebrow Gel. We're going to scrape off the majority because we don't need that much goop. I'm going to brush them up. I really need to trim my brows, but that's an issue for another day. It's great that I'm doing my eyebrows first because now I don't have to worry about getting it all over the rest of my makeup. I can just wipe it off. <laughs> I look absolutely insane. And now we're gonna brush it down. You can see where all the goop is around it. Okay, now to carve out the brows, I have this Bare Minerals Concealer. I don't know if it's gonna be a bit dark for the carving of the brows, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna take a little bit on this flat shader brush and we're gonna start to cure off. Oh, I'm gonna put most of it on my eyelid actually because I picked up just a bit too much. Okay, brows have been carved and eyelids have been prepped. So now I'm gonna set the eyes with the Revolution Translucent Powder. I'm gonna take a sponge just to set it all in place. Who remembers the old BH Cosmetic palettes? I found the, I found like a load of my old makeup, like it was in a box from when we moved. I found it the other day and I just kind of want to play around with it. So I'm just going to use some neutral colours from this to kind of like sculpt out the eyes. I can't remember if it's any good, but I forgot this brush, a bit dirty. Not that this one's any better, but we'll go with this one. I'm going to first go in with this colour here, it's like a neutral brown. I'm going to pop this just above the crease, just to kind of add a bit of dimension to the eye. I'm going to bring it up through the front of the brow, just because we want it to look a little bit more. Like it's natural. I'm gonna bring it back here. Okay, we're now gonna take a smaller fluffy brush, the one I was holding before. I can't find my other one. <laughs> and we're gonna go into like this warmer brown here and a little bit of this like cooler one. We're just gonna mix them both. And we're only gonna add this to the outer part of the eye very gently because we just wanna 
create like a contour and wing it back slightly and connect it back to the outer part of the eye. Okay, now we're going to take the brush that we used for the concealer and we're going to go into like this really light, like champagne-y, goldy colour. <laughs> and we're going to add this just slightly to like where the lash line is just above, like in the centre. And we're going to take a bit more of... Actually, we're going to go into like this whitey, pearly colour down here. And we're going to just carve through the front of the brow here, just underneath. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And also add it to the brow bone by here, why not? Use it as a highlight. Okay, now I have this Revolution eyeliner. I'm going to take the thin side. And we're first of all going to line our upper lash line very close to the base. Now that we've done that, we're going to do a small wing. I say small, that's rather large, but we are going to be cleaning up in a minute like that, so don't worry. Okay, so I've done the eyeliner and I've cleaned up the underneath with a wet wipe. I just, just did like a, you know, which has kind of made it look like they're more lifted in my opinion. Now it's time for mascara. Do we do mascara now or do we do raw base? Mascara. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. We are first of all going to use the Too Faced A Better Than Sex Mascara. Then we're going to use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, the waterproof version. Just go over it with a light coat. Okay, for foundation, we need to be covered to the gods. So I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Define for coverage foundation. Do a line and line, blend it with a brush. Can you hear my dog snoring? Has that been going on for a long time? For concealer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm and the 16 Hour Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. First, we're going to go in with the hydrating one. Just use this up to here. I'm going to use this in the T zone as well. Then I'm going to use this one. This one, because it's not the hydrating one, can look a bit cakey, but we need to look quite bright. So I'm going to add a bit of this to the inner corner, tip of the nose, and here. I'm going to also go over this burn back here but my face with the straighteners a few days ago gonna rub all this in i'm actually gonna rub in this one first because it dries down the quickest now to set the undries in the t-zone i'm gonna use the the revolution translucent powder i'm just gonna put some in the lead i'm just gonna use my sponge and tap this under the eyes i'm gonna take it all the way back up here to help lift now for the rest of the face i found one of my old face palettes how old is this? Don't know. Where's it from? Virgin Vi? <laughs> Virgin V? Virgin something. As you can see, it was very well loved before, but we're going to try and scrape our way through it. I'm going to take this one here on this fluffy brush, get a bit of the lighter one as well, just in case. I'm going to use this just to set the rest of my face. Is that too much? I don't know. Okay, now we are going to do some contour. First of all, going to grab this brush and we're going to do our jawline. My dog is so loud, it's snoring just right outside my room. Now I'm going to take some more. We're going to do some cheekbone contour. Oh, that's a bit much. So I will put some this side. I'm going to take it just under here and then bring it on a down angle. Like if you go, it has a bit of like a curve. Follow that. Take a little bit more. We're going to pop it right where we put our eyeshadow before, just to help deepen up the temple area. And now it's nose contour time. So I'm first going to take this little one. I'm going to lift the nose they have really cute little button noses obviously we're not achieving that with uh, this shark fin on my tip on my face but we will attempt to make it look as cute as possible <laughs> i'm gonna switch to this brush here just to go down the edges of the nose i'm going to take my sponge again into some of my translucent powder and we're gonna bake down the side of the nose i'm also gonna bake here just to help lift this area a little bit. Okay, for my bronzer, we're gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, just because I know it does the trick. So I'm gonna add this up here. I'm gonna do a little bit higher than I usually would, more like I'm putting on blush, because we really wanna lift the face. Add it to the forehead. I'm just gonna dust away this bait, because I don't want to be too harsh. Now I'm just going to take the brush I used for my nose contour and I'm going to take the same colour as my nose contour. We're going to add just a little bit of this to the lash line, well lower lash line, just so it's not bare but we're not putting too much, you know. Now I'm going to take my eyebrow pencil just because it's not like a really intense colour. 
I'm gonna just pull down my eye and I'm gonna put this in my lash line. Not my lash line, my waterline. Oh, I left a load of powder under my eye. Okay, I'm gonna use some highlighter. So I'm gonna use my fluffy brush into my Dior palette. I'm just gonna take these two top ones up here. I'm just gonna add it to the high point here, a little bit above the brow. And then I'm gonna take this brush into the white one. Do a dot on the nose, going between the brow by here. And then take some on the inner corner of the eye. Okay, now I have another one of these palettes, the um, Virgin V or Vi, whatever it says, Cheeks palette. I think, do I want to use this one? This one kind of gives off kind of old money vibes, like an old sort of blush. Could be wrong. What does this one look like? Hang on, put it on my leg. Mm. Right, we'll start with this one. Just going to take a little bit. And we're going to just add it to the back of the face. We're not going to bring it too far down. I think that one's okay, right? Okay, now I'm just going to add some lip balm before we start with the lips to make everything a bit easier. First of all, we're going to start with this Barry M lip liner in the shade Chocolate. I'm just going to use this to overline the centre of the lips. Do up here as well. Then I'm going to use this one from Primark. It doesn't have a shade name, but it's like a berry colour. I'm going to use this just to add a little bit of something to the lips. Okay, makeup done. I've put my hair somewhat back to make it look a bit different than usual. And I feel like the bougiest of bougie perfumes I have is my YSL Libre perfume. So I'm definitely gonna give this a spritz and I cannot wait. Oh, where'd my necklace go? Let's get you out, shall we? I feel like if we had a full outfit on, like it's, you know, I've done this a bit tight or whatever. Like I feel like it would look a bit better, you know? Like I feel like we could get away with looking somewhat Old money. AI. I do not look like AI. <laughs> this bit here needs to be straightened a bit more. I'm going to go because I'm sweating profusely. I need to go and stand outside for five. <laughs> if you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world and so much more. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really does mean absolutely everything to me. And I shall see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.